let's go and log into disneyplus.com on my laptop here. And I'm simply going to go and click the Add Profile. Uh, here I need to enter the password for my Disney account. I'm going to type that in and then I'm going to choose a profile icon or avatar and then a profile name. And the first option you'll see is Junior Mode and Disney describes that as a profile with curated content and features and a simplified user interface. So let's go and enable that and have a look at what that profile looks like. We've created the profile. Let's now go and select it. And we should find that here there is a whole bunch of basically G-rated TV shows. So what exactly does Junior Mode do? Let's have a look at the description. So what titles are included in the Junior Mode? Junior Mode will include series and movies appropriate for all ages. However, due to differences in local ratings and cultural sensitivities, there may be some variation in the available of specific titles when streaming from junior mode in different countries or regions. Please note, Hulu content is excluded from profiles with junior mode enabled, and junior mode content does not contain ads. So that's Disney's description of junior mode exactly from their website. What it looks like is that it's just G-rated TV shows. Uh, that are available only. Um, there may be some exceptions to that, but let's carry on having a look at the website and some of the other settings that we can enable. So here we are back in the Disney Plus website. Note that all of the things I've shown you so far can be done from the Disney app as well, adding the profiles, creating the, the uh, pins, etc. I'm going to go and exit junior mode now. And here I'm going to go and edit the profile. And I'm now going to edit the profile of the child profile that we've just created. And let's scroll down and have a look. You can see that autoplay is, an, is automatically turned off, which is great. You can see that junior mode here is enabled. You can see we can enable a kid-proof exit, which means it makes it harder to leave junior mode with a simple exit question. You'll note that because junior mode is enabled, content ratings are not selectable or changeable. And then you could set a profile pin for the child mode, but we don't want to do that because we want the kids to be able to easily access this profile and not our own. So happy with that configuration. Let's go and configure that for those accounts. And what I'm going to do is for all the other accounts that I have, I'm going to go now and edit those. Um, and I'm going to go and turn a profile pin on and limit access to this profile with a four digit pin. Yes, please, because that means kids regardless of the device or the TV they're using, will not be able to use my account and the unfettered access it has to content. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to save that profile pin. Uh, of course, I would use something far more secure in real life. Happy that that configuration is in place. But there is one final setting we need to enable, which is the creation of profiles uh, and, and making sure that a pin is protecting the creation of new profiles as well. I'm going to click Done here. I'm going to click, actually, we're going to go into my primary account. I've now got to log in as that user. And finally, now when we're in here, we can go to the account settings. So I can just scroll my name, scroll the mouse over my name here, scroll down to account. And under account, I'm going to scroll down to the section that says restrict profile creation and ensure that it is on or blue, as you can see here, which means that adding a new profile, uh, which you will have seen earlier in this video, will prompt for a password. If I go and turn this off, when we go and try and create a new profile, it doesn't prompt me for anything. It automatically just signs in and allows me to start creating an account. I'm going to skip and cancel. So let's go back to restrict profile creation. We'll turn that on. It's asked me to type my password again to confirm that setting. Yes, that's now on again. When I go up here and click Add Profile, it simply just prompts me to log in. So it's that simple as far as protecting your kids from getting access to your accounts, restricting the content in their account, and of course, restricting the profile creation. What I'd suggest is that junior mode here for, for the child account is perfect for kids that are kind of five years or younger. Again, that's not a hard and fast rule. That's just what my experience with it has been. Before we do that, actually, I can even demonstrate the exit junior mode. So when they go to do that, you 
could see it's making it a little bit difficult for them depending on their age. Um, so they've got to type in a question and answer a question in order to exit. As I said earlier though, because the accounts, the junior mode may be a bit restrictive as far as contents um, concern, particularly when your kids are sort of five or six or above, depending on how mature they are, you might find that junior mode is too limiting. You might want to simply edit the profile. You might want to disable junior mode. And you might want to specifically select the content for them instead, uh, or the content ratings that are appropriate for them to watch. For example, turning off junior mode, going to content rating, typing in your password again, and then here selecting what content is available or appropriate for them. So for example, I might just simply select PG in this scenario. I'm going to save that and I'm happy with that content rating instead of the rather restrictive junior mode. So that's it as far as Disney Plus is concerned for parental controls. I hope that's helpful and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.